Looking to stake a claim on some security wisdom in a hurry? Well, you're in luck, Keyboard Cowboy. It's time for another Black Hills Information Security Nugget. Grab your boots and boot up. It's time to attack Layer 2. Brought to you by Black Hills Information Security. Now here's John Strand. Hello and welcome. My name is John Strand. In this video, we're going to talk about Layer 2 attacks, why they're really bad, and what you can do to try to stop them. Now, whenever we're talking about Layer 2, we're not talking about the lie that is the OSI 7 layer model because that model is just garbage. We're actually talking about the Stevens 4 layer model, which coincidentally, Layer 2 is pretty much the same between both of them. But Layer 2 is the layer that actually deals with MAC addresses on your network. So we're talking about protocols that exist in a specific like VLAN or on a switch that doesn't transcend across routing boundaries. These would be protocols like link local multicast name resolution, NetBIOS name service, address, res address resolution protocol. Spanning tree protocol. There's a wide variety of different layer two protocols that exist in a network segment and they don't go to layer three where a router would actually adjudicate that connection. And I'm just going to show you one tool to kind of articulate this problem, why it's a problem. And we're going to give you some resources on how you can try to shut these things down. And we're going to do it like in under 10 minutes because that's a tall order. I've already got my system up and running. And as usual, I am using my virtual machine for my pay what you can classes for anti-siphon. There we go. I'm going to log in. I'm just going to the right directory and I'm going to start up Responder. Now, Responder is a tool that actually does a number of layer two attacks. It doesn't do all of the layer two attacks that are out there. It just does some real bad ones. Now, we, at this particular point, um, to start it up, it's just responder PY. It's a Python script. We're going to specify the interface as ETH0. Specifically, it's going to be poisoning link local multicast name resolution, NetBIOS name services, and DNS and MDNS. As I said, there's a lot of other layer two level attacks that you can do using tools like BetterCap would be a good example. This is just a quick, easy one that you can use. The cool thing about this particular tool is it stands up a number of servers because after it has poisoned the victim, it'll reroute that traffic to the attacker's computer system where it has these servers up and running and ready to start capturing credentials. Now, some of these are off, like web proxy audit attack, which is different from layer two, kind of in the same family, but it's off for a variety of good reasons. I'll cover that in another video. So now that I have Responder running, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to access a share that is not present. All right. So if I go to the share, no, try to run it. You can start to see it communicating with my Windows computer system down here, and it's starting to poison this computer system and saying, you're trying to go to the system. No, that system does not exist. What happened is my system could not find no, and Responder jumped in specifically using, it looked like it did um, MDNS for this particular one. And it sent a poisoned answer to my Windows computer system because this, this system, no, did not exist. And it was able to receive the NTLM v1 hash. Now, just to be clear, Windows systems only store Landman and NT hashes. Net NTLM v1 is an authentication protocol. So it's very different. It's not like a separate hash that's stored. It's using the NT hash using Landman authentication to communicate instead of using the Landman hash. I know that that's a lot. Don't worry. If you want to know more, come check out the class. And it was able to intercept the password hash when my Windows system tried to authenticate to it. Now that I have that particular password hash, I can now crack that password hash because I've got that authentication. So what I'm going to do is I am going to CD into the logs directory. I'm on a computer today. There we go. And then we're going to use John the Ripper and we're going to crack net NTLM v1 on that system. There we go. Um, that was weird. That was not what I wanted it to do. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We're just using John the Ripper. Um, very quick, easy password cracking tool. I know Hashcat is better, but this works inside of Windows subsystem for Linux and works well. So we've got opt John the Ripper. We're going to run. The format is going to be net NTLM. 
And we're going to crack the password for HTTP net NTLM v1 for my Windows IP address. Was able to crack it very quickly. The user ID is ADHD and the password is ADHD. So as I mentioned, there's a lot of things that we can do to try to stop these types of attacks. The most insidious vulnerability that we see is link local multicast name resolution. We have a blog at Black Hills Information Security, just Google, uh, link local multicast name resolution or LLMNR, Black Hills InfoSec. It'll take you straight to an article by Kent that'll tell you why it's a problem and why you need to disable it. We also have the CRED Defense Toolkit, which has some really cool Canary Token style stuff for Landman, or excuse me, for LLMNR in there as well. But the big question that you need to ask is, are we actually broadcasting any layer two protocol uh, packets that can be attacked? Easiest way to do that is just simply fire up Wireshark on a system on a network segment, and then choose your interface that you want to look on. Once you're on that interface and you're sniffing on that interface, you want to look for things like NetBIOS name service, which we just saw. You want to look for things like MDNS. We want to look for things like link local multicast name resolution, spanning tree protocol. We want to look for those protocols that are layer two that your host should not be seeing. All right. So that's it. Very quick overview. Layer two protocol attacks are really dangerous. Try to hunt them down and eradicate them in your environment as quickly as possible. As usual, I hope to see you in a pay what you can class at some point in the future. Once again, we have paid classes, check those out as well. And finally, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in another video. If you stuck around this long, like and subscribe to get more Black Hills InfoSec nuggets. And check out these other videos while you're at it. See you on the range, Keyboard Cowboy.